Hey, welcome to another video. So today we're going to be going into the second battle of Tumbleton. But before I begin, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the Sith Citadel Discord, links in the description, and consider becoming a join member or sending a super thanks if you wish to further support the channel. Otherwise, let's jump straight into it. During the Battle of Tumbleton, the market town of Tumbleton was betrayed by Sir Ulf White and Sir Hugh Hammer, who had the dragons Vermithor and Silverwing burn the town. The Greens then sacked the town and executed Blacks who surrendered. Sir Hobbert Hightower was the most senior Hightower remaining in the Green Army, as his cousin, Lord Ormond Hightower, had been killed in a previous battle. Prince Daron Targaryen, sickened by the sack of Tumbleton, ordered Hobbert to put a stop to the victor's behavior, but Hobbert failed to do so. Ulf and Hugh were reluctant to help Daron advance towards King's Landing. Lord Unwin Peak wanted to wait until the Greens were reinforced by Lord Barros Baratheon, while Hobbert Hightower desired to retreat to gather supplies from the Reach. The Greens in action caused their great host to slowly dissipate through desertion and disease. After hearing of unrest in King's Landing against the rule of Queen Rhaenyra Targaryen, younger nobles such as Sir John Roxton, Sir Roger Corn, and Lord Peak called for advancing on the capital, but Hobbert preached caution, and the two betrayers remained stubborn. When Hugh crowned himself king and had his men attack Roger, Thirteen loyalists, known as the Caltrops, plotted against the two Baseborn Dragon Riders. Meanwhile, the Baseborn Dragon Rider Sir Adam Valarian, whom Rhaenyra had condemned after hearing of the two betrayers, was resolved to defend his honor by retaking Tumbleton from Ulf and Hugh. He fled from King's Landing atop Sea Smoke and allegedly sought counsel from the Green Men on the Island of Faces. Adam set out to recruit a new army for the Rivermen. By visiting every castle, great or small, and scrapping together survivors from previous battles, along with old men and young boys. A brave and charming young man and glib of tongue, Adam succeeded in convincing many lords to contribute what aid they could, due to a combination of being impressed by his dragon and being terrified of what green victory in the war would mean for them after the horrific sack of Tumbleton. Among them were Benjakob Blackwood, the 12-year-old Lord of Raventree Hall, whose father had died in the Battle of the Burning Mill and who later fought in the fish feed, Sabatha Viprin, widowed lady of the twins, whose husband, Lord Frey, had died fighting in the battle by the lakeshore, who was now also joined by her father and brothers from the house of Viprin, Lord Stanton Piper, and Lord Joseph Smallwood, who had survived defeat in the earlier battle at Acorn Hall, Lord Derek Derry, leading the survivors of Castle Derry after Vagar had burned it, killing the original Lord Derry, and Lord Lionel Deddings, Hugo Vance, the new lord of House Vance of Wayfar's Rest, after the death of Tristan Vance at the bottom of the Red Fork, came with 300 of his own men, plus Black Trombo's company of Myrish sellswords. Hugo and Trombo had earlier fought in the Butcher's Ball, destroying Sir Kristen Cole's trapped army. Most notably, House Tully finally joined the war, with its army full of strength and fresh. Sea Smoke's arrival and the fate of Tumbleton finally convinced the reluctant Elmo Tully to end their neutrality against the wishes of his bedridden grandsire, Lord Grover Tully. Altogether, Adam collected together a new army of rivermen, nearly 4,000 strong. On the day at which the Caltropes had decided to enact their coup against Ulf and Hugh, the Greens and Tumbleton were awakened in the night by the sounds of battle. Though Adam's 4,000 rivermen were outnumbered, they had the advantage of surprise. Columns of knights attacked from the north and the west, while archers fired their arrows. Sea Smoke's dragon fire burned the Greens' camp outside of Tumbleton, as well as buildings in the town which had survived its earlier sack. Wolf White slept through the battle within the body badger, an inn in Tumbleton. Hugh Hammer rushed to the stables so he could ride to Vermithor, but he was slain by one of the Caltropes, John Roxton. Prince Daron the Daring died amongst his camp west of the town although his method of death is disputed. The Blacks tried to kill the sleeping Silverwing and Vermithor in the field south of Tumbleton, but failed to do so. The riderless Vermithor slew two score knights and attacked him, and then took to the air and fought indiscriminately. Lord Stanton Piper and Lionel Deddings were burned by the dragon. Adam and Sea Smoke had been battling Daron's dragon to Sarion in a nimble fight. When Adam saw the raging Vermithor, he redirected Sea Smoke to the larger dragon. Lord Benjakot Blackwood believed that Vermithor would have torn Sea Smoke to pieces, but Tessarion suddenly joined the brawl, and all three dragons fought. 
Vermithor slew sea smoke, but then collapsed and died shortly after. Tessarion failed to take flight three times, so Lord Blackwood has his best archer, Billy Burley, Mercy killed the Blue Queen. The battle ended at dusk. The Blacks were victorious in the Second Battle of Tumbleton, but their victory was incomplete. Although the River Lords lost less than a hundred men and slew more than a thousand of Hobbert Hightower's Green Army, the Blacks failed to retake Tumbleton. King Aegon's Green survivors retreated into Tumbleton and sealed the gates. The Blacks, lacking siege equipment, retreated during the night after the battle. Three of the four dragons died, with only Silverwing surviving. The Caltropes continued their plot against Ulf White. Hobbert and Ulf died from drinking poisoned wine. Lord Unwin Peak succeeded Hobbert as commander, but the great host which had marched from Old Town was racked with plundering deserters. Lord Peak led the remainder in a retreat from Tumbleton, ending the green threat to King's Landing. Apart from the losses in dragons, the battle was a decisive victory for the Blacks, with under a hundred men lost compared to over a thousand greens killed despite their numerical superiority. Ultimately, the battle was also a strategic victory for the Blacks, given that the, dis the disintegrating Hightower army had to withdraw back from the south. Even so, while Adam's sacrifice had saved King's Landing from the Hightower army, the Blacks had lost control of King's Landing itself anyways. When, due to fear at the approach of the High Towers, the city was plunged into chaotic riots, Lord Grover Tully passed away shortly after his second Tumbleton, allowing Sir Elmo Tully to briefly become the Lord of River Run. The mostly intact River Lord army of nearly 4,000 regrouped at River Run, where Elmo continued to gather more men, including the Malisters and the Brackens, until within about two months of their combined forces increased to nearly 6,000 men and they marched east to face the Baratheon host in the Battle of the King's Road outside of King's Landing. So what did you guys think of the Second Battle of Tumbleton? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the Sith Citadel Discord, links in the description, and consider becoming a join member or sending a super thanks if you wish to further support the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.